Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and it's time for another deck review or I should say a deck test for this brand new card P.T. Barnum. I think he came out today. He could have come out yesterday but definitely in the last couple of days and he is a hoaxes and cons card. So we are going to put him in a really cool hoaxes and con deck and go and test out that deck. He's looking quite a good card. I do like the look of him. He's got a really cool draw and a really good play feature. So let's go and have a look at the deck. In fact, no, I'm not going to have a look at the deck. We are going to go and play a casual game. The deck is on the left. It's a 99 built around uh, Hoaxes and Con, Goatman, and also Occult Cards. I do like Hoaxes and Cons and Occult Cards. They work really, really well together. So let's see if we can find a game. Let's go back out and back in again. I'm going to try this on a casual, I think. I'm not sure what the energy is like. It looks pretty low. Haven't played it at all yet. So this is the very first game I have played with P.T. Barnum. And if anybody can tell me why P.T. Barnum was a hoax or a con, I would be very interested. Okay, here we go. We've got a game going. So let's see how good this deck is. I know it should be pretty good. Henny X. Hello, Henny X. <clears throat> so just one word of a warning we've got the witch's sabbath in this deck you do need to try and make sure you win the turn with the witch's sabbath otherwise it's a bit of a waste uh just reading these cards as we go through as well because i can't remember them all la voisin that's a cool card 174 let's say hello hello henny oh what is going on hello to you terminator Hemidale and taste could be an interesting deck you've got there i'm liking the look of it okay let's keep going we've got to 16 points behind at the moment uh not too bad we do need to time that which is sabbath card perfectly but that pt barnum card absolutely amazing on the first time you play him he knocks off 20 power up permanently of all your opponent's cards and then the second time he gets plus 50 permanently to himself, or 40, I can't remember, and knocks off 12 for that turn on your cards, or I've all played. We'll have a quick check in a minute. 2, 8, 7, not bad score. We're back in the lead. Interesting deck here you've got there, Henny X. Only playing two cards. Plenty of energy. So we've got Charles. He's a great hoaxes and cons card. We've got Goatman, like I said, and Marie Lavu. Ooh, great card that one get it round as quickly and as often as you can five six three you know what i fancy playing this deck in the league looks pretty good could be good for this week's league we've got iron maiden which is probably not much use for this week's league uh, but it works really nicely in this deck what's going on here only one card henny x what are you playing at here i'm not really sure Okay, well, we definitely won with the Witch's Sabbath there. We get that massive 25 boost until played on all our occult cards. That's why it's really important to make the most of Witch's Sabbath. Quite sad if you lose playing Witch's Sabbath, but it's better if you win. And uh, We've got not the best rotation here. Um, but we've got Goatman and Charles, two really good. What Helen do? Let's put Helen. Uh, let's put Charles, Goatman and Grimoire actually two two three yeah that looks like the best one he's only playing two cards again Henny I don't know what you're playing are you trying to do some combos or something not the best deck test for PT Barnum I think we will play another guy and talk of the devil minus 20 permanently on all these cards the first time he comes out and every time you play PT Barnum oh wow every time you played him that is good you get an extra 40 permanently and minus 12 on your two cards. Can we get him around three times? I don't think we can in this game. Three, 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 an identity theft. Another great hoaxes and con card. Four out of five. This is definitely a powerful deck. I am liking the look of this a lot. Uh, yeah, if you play BT Pound in this game. Uh, Arborus is my whole card and I also tend to hold Iron Maiden with this deck unless you desperately need to play Iron Maiden that would just chip away at your opponent's card every time hitting one of his cards for 25 not bad 302 he's trying to get his blood sweat and tears together that's why you were only playing those few cards I think he was just trying to get that combo out to be honest 
Is that what you're doing there, Henny? I'm not sure. 373. Looking good. I will give you the deck code. It's definitely worth building this deck. It's one of my favourite decks, actually. Uh, and I think it's got even stronger with BT Barnum in it. Good old PT. Uh, Die Buck Box is a cool card as well. Let's play Iron Maiden. Uh, which one should we do? Two, four, nine. Oh, that is not bad. We are moving away again. Oh dear. That uh, hoops card he just played, not bad. That hits you for 50, the card opposite. That one there, Tax Hill Hoax. Quite a nice card, it is a Hoaxes and Con card, but I didn't include it. Um, but you could. So where are we? Marie, look at that. What a score already. 4-6-1. This is an easy game. We're definitely going to go and play another game because I want to give this deck a good run for its money. And then, later on, I am going to take it into the league. I'm thinking it will be okay. I'm not sure if this week is the best week for it, but we can try it. So let's try and win with our Witches Sabbath. We've already got the Goat from Charles. Uh, if you play two or more, let's do that one. And three, three, two, or Goatman. Three, seven, three. Let's hold Charles for a little bit. Great deck. Thank you very much. That is game over. Very easy as well. Deck code, there we go, is MVFP16. That's MVFP16. It's a pretty easy deck to build. There's a couple of difficult cards if you are fairly new. Goatman's difficult to get. Charles is difficult to get. Marie Lavou, or Leve, Lavou, uh, is difficult to get, but it's only an Epic Limited. So you should be able to get that by good trading. Uh, Identity Theft, again, that is a limited Epic. Uh, the rest of the cards, apart from BT Barnum, who's brand new, uh, available in the stores today, should be quite easy to build. Okay, we are playing one 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 B. Is that six and five? Eleven? Hello, eleven. Is that eleven? I think so. Ocean's deck. This looks good. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's hope we win with our Witch's Sabbath. I wouldn't normally come out straight away. I've got absolutely no idea what he's playing. Two, three, four. Come on, win. Oh, he's going to get a little buff. I think we might be all right. Oh, no. Classic chart combo as well. And we lost by one. Well played, number 11. Great deck. I do like a good sharks deck. Do check out those retro playlists, or retro deck playlists, I should say. There's a really cool shark deck in there. And we did super structures yesterday, or today, I should say. That was an amazing deck, and it is still pretty strong. Uh, what should we do here? I need to concentrate. I'm just saying how good... Oh, what is that score? 62? Oh, number 11. Oh, no, not again, combo. Oh, that was a shame. I thought you were going to give us a big run for our money there. Okay, let's keep going. It still could be a good deck. So there's Arborus. We're going to hold that. Uh, two more. It's good if you play two. Have we played two hoaxes and guard? Yes, we have. An exhaustible bottle. Wow, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? An exhaustible bottle. I would like that myself. And the stone tape theory. Oh, look at that flying Dutch and the Kraken. The double boost. What a hit. Well played, number eleven. <laughs> He's stormed into the lead with that one. Okay, 1-0. Well played. Well played indeed, sir. I like it. Nice deck you've got there. Okay, let's go. We've got La Voison. Uh, um, I'm going to hold those two whole cards, Iron Maiden and Araborus. We can build them up quite good. This deck, by the way, you can easily get 1,000 points if you do get to round 5. And we might do on this game, if we're lucky. It's three, three, one. Oh, flying cloud. Nice. That's going to get a nice hundred buff the next time it comes around. We need to remember that. He is quite a long way behind though already. Not looking at too bad. It'd be good if we can get this back to one, one, one all. Charles, what a cool card. I forgot how much I like Charles. He is really good. Charles and Goatman, great cards. Four, two, four. This is a definitely a good consistent deck 
certainly in the casual arenas. Not quite sure how it's going to steer up at the very top of the league this week. Uh, everybody seems to be playing boxing. But we will give it a go, definitely later on. And let you know. But so far, with PT Barnum, so far so good, I would say. He's due to come round soon. Haven't seen him, have we? Ectoplasm. Oh, Marie is boosting up nicely. I do like that card as well. 379. We have 453 in the lead. We should be able to. Oh, hammerhead. They can ten off all our cards there. That is nasty, Miss Relevan. With that classic shark combo again. Not bad, though. I think we're going to get this back to 1-1. One, one. And we've got a little bit of a boost on the next one. We've got an Arts and Cultures Arena. So that is going to give us a little bit of buff for our Arts and Culture cards. That will help. Heavy point helps. Lots of yellow cards now. And there is PZ Barnum. Every time you play PZ Barnum, this card gains oh, plus 40. And your other cards lose minus 12. There we go. Helen. Let's do Helen. That's a nice little buff from Helen as well. Oh, you haven't got any points, Mr. Eleven. Come on. Don't forget we walked into his double mythic boost, which I think could be coming now. Or is it on the next turn, maybe? That was worth about 400 points for him. So we're 223 points in front, even with his massive boost from those two mythic cards, his little trick. I think we might be okay here. Let's see what happens. Fox Sisters, and let's go with that in the middle next to the Arts and Culture card. Yet yeah, there is that double boost. I think we might still be in front. What did he get? 440 last time. 425. Not quite as strong this time, but we are 200, no, 132 in front, and identity thefts. We've got some big scoring cards now. Look at that. Those buffs keep on coming. So we always play him on the end box. I always forget that one. Oh, low battery. Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Eleven. Oh, I'm running out of power. So I'm definitely going to have to charge up my device before I do the league game. So this will be the last game with PT Barnum for now. But he is definitely going to make a reappearance quite often i think by the looks of him he is a great card shame about the minus 12 but i'm guessing for every time you played it so the next time he would get 80 and your cards will lose 24. not too bad i mean it kind of balances itself out really actually if you work it like that but still uh, 505 oh come on 11 are you 11 or are you 10. I can't see how many little lines are there. My eyes are so bad. Flying Cloud is a good card. I do like that one. Oh, we have got a big score coming up. We can go big. I think we're going to win this 3-1. So I'm thinking we'll just go big and strong at the end. Let's get that Witch's Sub of round 484. It's really consistent in the 4 and 500s this deck. And here we go. We should be able to get close to 700 maybe. Ouroboros is worth 300 Iron Maiden if we want to play it. We've got a nice little buff. Another buff there from Witch's Sabbath. Looking good. What have we got? Oh, not the best cards. But we are 490 in front. Let's see what we can do to finish. We've got 492. What should we play with it? 620. Not bad at all. Oh, good game. Well, there we go, guys. That is my deck test for BT Barnum. I do like it. I do need to check the maths on that card though because I'm thinking that the buff that you get is almost outweighed by the uh, lost points that you get. But there we go, it's a good card. Certainly the first time you play it, minus 20 permanently on your opponent. It's probably worth it just for that to be honest. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys. We'll be back very soon with some more super cool cards the universe and everything videos. But in the meantime, take care, have fun, bye.